The real question is, have we already passed it, or is it still ahead of us? The Fermi Paradox in more detail. The paradox gets its name from physicist Enrico Fermi, who famously asked, where is everybody? Our galaxy is over 13 billion years old. There has been plenty of time for civilizations to emerge, spread, and even leave behind megastructures that would still be visible today. Even traveling at sublight speeds, a determined civilization could cross the Milky Way in just a few million years, a blink compared to the galaxy's age. So if intelligent life has had so much time and so many chances, why don't we see it? The Great Filter Hypothesis The Great Filter is a proposed solution. It's the idea that somewhere along the path from lifeless matter, intelligent, spacefaring civilization, there's a stage that is extremely unlikely, or nearly impossible, for most life to cross. Think of it like a series of doors. To reach the stars, a species has to pass through all of them. The emergence of life at all. The jump to complex multicellular organisms, the evolution of intelligence, the creation of technology, the survival of early civilizations, expansion beyond their home planet. If one of these doors is locked almost every time, then very few species ever make it through. That locked door is the filter. Where could the filter be? Option one, the filter is behind us. This is the optimistic scenario. Maybe the rarest step has already happened. For example, life began on Earth very quickly after conditions stabilized. But it took nearly three billion years before complex cells evolved. Perhaps that jump was the nearly impossible part. Another candidate, intelligence itself. After all, millions of species have existed on Earth, yet only one developed advanced technology. If that's true, then we are incredibly lucky. We've already beaten the odds. Humanity might be one of the only intelligent civilizations in the entire galaxy. Option two, the filter is ahead of us.